So for each of these frame decomposers representation, always you have this frame in column. And with the colors, uh, red means high value of the signal and blue means low values. So now from that we can, for instance, compute the flux, so the distance between successive frames. And this show clearly that we have some peaks where there is a high contrast between some of the successive frames. So it can detect, for instance, a note onset, especially when you have a signal where you have change of chords, but not so much change of general energy. Using this spectral flux, you can see this change in the spectrum. And what is interesting now, due to this generalized framework, is that you can compute any frame decomposed color uh, representation, and then compute the flux of anything. Capsule flux and uh, autocorrelation flux and so on. And then you can specify the distance for the flux. By default, it's a Euclidean. You can only consider positive difference. For a spectrum, you can have complex flux, so you take the spectrum in the complex representation and you see the distance between these complex values. And then you can do some further post-processing of this mere flux filtering and so on. Another general operator is the envelope extraction. So showing the general long-term evolution of your curve. You can sonify this envelope. And now we can just hear this change of energy. And we have removed all the spectral components because it's a, a white noise uh, modulated by this envelope. So now for envelope, by default, it's based on low-pass filtering. So uh, basically, uh, uh, there is a full wave rectification, but you can also do that in the complex domain. But this makes some problem with the Hilbert transformer. It's not the default in the toolbox. Then low-pass filters. There are two possible low-pass filters infinitive impulse response or half hanging window, and then you can specify the time constant. And then finally, uh, down sampling. So either you re uh, down sample by a d given ratio or you specify a new sampling rate. Or you can compute also the envelope based on spectrogram. So in, uh, by default, it's just you have the spectrogram, and then you can finally, in the end, resum all the bands. But you can also you, you see the spectrogram in the male bands, in the bark bands, in the sense, decomposed into sense. And then because we use this frame decomposition of the spectrogram, this has usually a low sampling rate, so you need to resample after, up sample, up sample. And then you can perform some post-processing operations, such as half wave, or centering half wave, just taking the positive lobe, taking the differentiation of the, f of the envelope to see burst of energy, and taking the positive difference. And this is very useful for tempo es estimation, for instance. This is used as a curve uh, where we see the periodicities. And yeah, okay. Power transformation, normalization, averaging, and so on. Uh, filtering. Then, just to mention, we have implemented a part of Clapuri model used for meta estimation with a logarithm compression with the summation of the signal of the envelope and the differentiation. So basically, it's from uh, what we will obtain from a classical envelope here, then we have something that is more closer to the signal in the auditory neural system. Then uh, now we can also decompose into different channels using a bank of filters. And classically, for instance, we can use a gamma tone 
uh, which is from the auditory toolbox. You can specify the number of channels and so on. And you can play. If you play, you can play the different channels and specify which channel you want to listen. Another example used for the pitch extraction is just two channels, low pass and high re register. Then you can uh, propose manual uh, filter bank decomposition where we just specify the frequency uh, different um, borders. So for instance here, you can have uh, one channel from 44 to 88 hertz then another from 88 to 176, and so on. And um, if you add minus infinite, it means the first one is a low pass filter. And if you add infinite, it means that the last one is a high pass filter. And there are examples uh, of, uh, already available based on Mel, Bark, Scherer, and Clapuri. So now, we add this filter bank decomposition. Then we can have any analysis such as envelope extraction. So when you say mere envelope of this, you will get the envelope for each different channel. And then you can sum back. So now about this stereo non decomposition. So if you use this mono option initially, and if you want not to transform the waveform into mono, then you will keep the two channels. So if you compute the envelope, you will have the envelope for each different channel. And in the end, you can sum back. Then summary, for some operators, you have this summary, which is actually the same mere sum. For instance, filter bank decomposition envelope, as before. And then, for instance, autocorrelation, <clears throat> and usually when we sum back, this is called summary. And um, it's, uh, but it's the same uh, summation. <clears throat>